Are you kidding me? That's what a lot of drivers are probably going to say when they find out some of the stoplights downtown are now stop signs again. News 13's Ariella Torin is live at 8th and Cole to explain why the city keeps going back and forth. Ariella. Well, Kim, crews were out here all day today at different intersections downtown, including this one at 8th and Cole, swapping out stoplights with four-way stop signs for the second time in less than two years. One thing that we do not want to have happen is we do not want to have traffic build up into the residential neighborhood, and a stoplight has a tendency to build up quite a few cars as a stop sign kind of just builds up one or two at a time. The city first changed the lights to stop signs almost two years ago at nine different intersections downtown to slow down drivers. Last September, under the Barry administration, they switched three of them back to stoplights, including 8th and Cole and 8th and Lead. But now, after another traffic study, the Keller administration has the stop signs going back up at 8th and Cole and on Roma at 4th and 5th. Confusing, I know, but neighbors we spoke with are on board saying it's necessary for safety. It reduces car accidents because people will slow down for a stoplight, whereas they'll run through a yellow or beat the red. Now the lights will stay on just down the street at 8th and Lead, and the stop signs that were put up in place of stoplights on Silver are now officially permanent. The city says they will be removing the stop sign, stoplight poles in a few months. Back to you, Kim. Thank you, Ariella. Now, the city says the stop signs are also more pedestrian and bicycle friendly, which they say the studies back up.